Hello everyone, I'm Psychotic, and that's also my screen name. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Normally we do survival games, and I have never really done a AAA. So what we're going to do today, uh, I absolutely adored the first Dragon's Dogma, and uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is out today, so we are going to check out Dragon's Dogma 2. Um... I know it's it's not our normal thing, but I, I hope that you enjoy the ride nonetheless. Uh, if you learn anything useful today, or if you have a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, let's go ahead and start her up. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. <laughs> the graphics are much better. Not really surprising. <laughs> On a guess, lend me your ears. The voice acting is way better. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal May fealty. No Your Majesty, eternal. oh how long I have awaited this moment. Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. This is a very different start from the first one, which is good. They didn't stick with the city under attack trope, which is kind of nice.
Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Alright, character creation. So we're going to speed through this a little bit. Uh, I am going to pick and choose, and we will speed it up, uh -huh. and you will see the end result. I thought I recognized you. Alright, so we've got our basic look. Um, not terrible, not great. There's quite a few options. I don't much care for the tattoos that they have. The presets are a little odd, and the uh, patterns are in odd spots on the body. I wish there was a bit more um, customizability there. But overall, I mean, he's not too terrible looking. I really like the way his eyes came out. They're almost the same color as mine, which is exciting. So in Dragon's Dogma, I have done fighters, I've done archers, and I've done mages, but I never did any kind of a thief class. So I think we're going to start with that and see how this works out. Uh, race is mass... Oh, no, no, we're not changing that. All right, so let's go with a voice. Sure, why not? Oh, he sounds crazy. I'll go with him. All right. Well, that's a good start. It's a little bit chonky, but I remember in the first one, you wanted somebody that was middling in weight because the lighter they were, the less they could carry, but the heavier they were, the less stamina they had. So you wanted middling to get both. We all know what the name's going to be. Moniker. What do they have? We'll name him Pike. Whoa, that's a bit much. How high does that go? No kidding. Wow, we can make him 999. Why don't we do something a bit more reasonable? Alright, so there's our finalized character. And uh, let's get into it. Press your phone till they are overwhelmed. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge incoming attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons for the clever combatant. When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend coming to it. Okay, so similar to the camp in the first one, we just run it off the first time we encounter it. Report. Are you unharmed? Get chased. Make ready. We move to intercept. Concern it. 
You ought to flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a fell curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. creature escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! After her! Quickly! This way, Arisen! Come this way. Let us flee. Zero hesitation. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there! Shoot it down! Was an interesting intro. I think perhaps the most surprising part of the Dragon's Dogma, at least Dragon's Dogma and now too, is that Capcom, of all people, made them. Anytime I see Capcom, I'm usually expecting a middling game. And this is, uh, interesting. combat was a little clunky in the intro, but I don't have any skills yet, so that's not super surprising. I wish that dodge was a little bit further. That dodge step doesn't really give you much room to play with. That was rude. Oh, it's dead. Distance arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. So the brine in the first one was a sea monster that lives in water, and it was their way of keeping Boy, you from swimming. Are you all 
right. What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back. Tis a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Can't loot anything. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of vermin being sent there. Fine! God, Goblins! What? Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Yeah. Well, this isn't going well at all. Find your strength lacking. Buy the curative or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes, let's guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope, it will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Guessing these are pawns. Welcome, Arisen. Yep. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then. No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Alright, another character creation for our pawn. So, same as last time, we're just gonna speed through it. Alright, so there's our mage. Uh, the makeup's a little hard to deal with, but then again, I'm a male, and I'm not great with makeup, because I don't use it regularly. But, uh, we made a mage for support reasons, because mages are generally the healers in this game. And we're definitely going to need that. Sure. All right, so we've got ourselves and our pawn made now. Oh, she didn't turn out as bad as I thought. Makeup's still a little heavy. I think I should have lowered the opacity a Pawns little bit more. Pawns are known as crossers of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. We can get some additional pawns, because usually you can have a party of up to four. Or at least that's how the original Dragon's Dogma worked. So I want to see if we can get Hail two more. Arisen. At least they added a search by weapon skill that didn't used to be there. It used to take forever to find what you were after. 
Take me as your shield arisen. Upon my fighter's pride, no foe. Okay, she's a fighter. She's got blink strike, perfect. She doesn't have any kind of a taunt though. I think she's too low of a level for the taunts. So we're not going to hold that against her right now. Are you now. fit to travel? Then let... Cool. Taz, what do you have going on? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, we'll take Taz. She I was the first one we talked the to. Could resist my they're all female and Let they all have the same together. skills, so there's no Wanna... point in shopping around. Alright, we should be good. So now we've got melee DPS, uh, range DPS, magic DPS and healing, and then myself as actual melee DPS, because that eventually Katana will be replaced with somebody with tanking skills. Unfortunately, nobody this level has them, so that doesn't help. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm. So we get DCP and we get XP. Level ups are not the same as rank ups. They are two different things. Um, at least that's how it worked in Dragon's Dogma One, and it appears that that's so how soon. it's going to work here too. But at too. least I know I am up to the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That went way better with a full group going on. A fine face to have some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. That's a goblin. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom goes to waste. Woo. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of oh, sound so strategy a pawn. and defense. Your name tactics. is Main Pawn. That's awkward. So the pawns that are not yours don't level up. Which means every time you come across a pawn stone, over many fears you battles want to was our forged. It will be an honor to serve by your side. And it's another female. Are all the pawns female in this? Oh my. Um. Do not test me. We are now just a soldier. We must summon reinforcements. Watch out!
this moment forth. Thou art arisen, charge and We could make the fruit robber into ourselves, or simply purchase some. Let's make it. We want to go to items, and we want to combine an apple. Oh, we got a full wake stone. Excellent. That's a free death. I sold all the apples. We don't have any apples. Rune's apothecary here in Melv. Uh, that is that is a problem. I don't know how to make it. There's a ladder here. Ah, well ma Medicinal pellet containing bits of fruit. So let's try an apple and a grape and see what hey. that gives us. Here for some fruit, Roberant, are we? Always a pleasure. I don't know how to make it. Ah, well met. Between you and me, cuz, they're mighty easy to make. Ah, here we go. Simple as combining the ingredients, if you know what they are. Between you and me, cuz, they're mighty easy to make. What are they? Alright, um, we're gonna have to buy it, because I have no earthly clue how to make it. Okay, so that's all three elemental boons. There's also a protection spell here. Blocks three attacks from target, that's good. Quick spell hastens incantation speed. Excellent. That's important. That's gonna make us cast faster. And magic defense increase. Oh, as much as I would like palladium, I think it's more important to have that faster cast speed. Always a pleasure. Look faster! Our place. You have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Most impressive, Master. We can ill afford to grow over time. Our foe is not yet routed. Not bad. Well, I took a solid hit, but that could have gone much worse. Really, I did not know I could feel so alive. I think I'm getting better. Had to get a little creative to get airborne, though. Alright, let's see if we can camp, because we are missing some maximum health there. So you take health damage, and a certain percentage Have of it is revivable. Something a certain is not. You're looking rather lost. Let's make camp. A modest camping kit. And an achievement, apparently. Well, this is nice. Oh, we can cook our meat, too. Yeah, that's much better. Ooh, that looks almost real. Ooh, first big fight. His tusks are already broken. I, a cyclops! To think we'd encounter one here of all places. Cyclops. Be on your guard.
Whoa. All right, so that's the thing. You run out of stamina and they just throw you off. You don't fall off anymore. Seem I misjudged you. Used to have to use a consumable item. Two hundred forty of those, huh? Cool. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? A splendid discovery. Ha! Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. But she's a fighter, so she's not going to have a taunt. Maybe. Oh no, they do have taunts now. Okay, she's replacing our uh, sword and board. Will you not miss my company once I am gone, Arisen? I hope I can count on you in a scrape. There are useful ingredients to be get. Crap. He had our uh, camp stuff, didn't he? Yes, yes he did. And it did not carry over. So I just accidentally gave away all of our camping stuff. That's a problem. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? No enemies immediately, which is always a good sign. No enemies at all. Hidden door, you think? Well worth yeah. the effort of breaking it. That one was a little too obvious, Capcom. Yon chest lies maddeningly close. Tis a vexing thing to see it so plainly and yet to be unable to open it. Oh, we'll get there, don't you worry. <laughs> or not. Rather valuable, this. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? I'm telling you what to do. Oh, I feel like we don't want to be here. Oh, this was a mistake. Yeah, you know, let's get him out where we can see him. Oh, that one hurt. You'll not live to regret this. Oh, we've got the beast reeling. If we keep this up, we'll. Yeah, I, I'm aware right on how to get on him. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. On his head. Tis a foe worthy of fortune. More to say our best. I'll get the idea. Grabbing hold. <laughs> He's face planted in the wall. to his face to break those tusks. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. 
think he's enraging. Unfortunately, we had to waste a wake stone on that, but that's all right. Had lived to tell the tale. We cannot ask for more than that. That was probably a waste. Fortune favors but... us, it would seem. Keep gazing up while then you're like stumble along. Oh, okay, so, <coughs> so it's not physical, it's magical to damage him. Because we weren't even hurting that one. firepower to drop control. They're 800 pound enemies. The strike. Our best uh, oh no, it is a troll. I think. The women thing was trolls. Headlong into battle. 
Let us watch our foe carefully to determine our best strategy here. Master, we ought to quit the field ere the option is taken from us. When our curators run out, we're yep, done. We're for. running away. Come on, guys. I know not what to say. We gotta we gotta push forward though. This way. Let's go! Discretion is the better part of valor. Yeah, let it let it play with that female pawn that showed up. We're not we're not fooling with it. It's another campfire. They really are everywhere. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, you should know that this individual fought valiantly to defend the troops. The Watchhead told me himself. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one Arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Oh, he's been on it from the beginning. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet, not all celebrated your coming. An ox cart ought to make our journey right. easier. Well, they can be most convenient. I think this so is probably a good start, spot to stop for now. I mean, we got a pretty good taste of the open entry of the game. I would like to see what the new uh, classes are, but I think that can wait for Look, later. Master. But, yeah, uh, pretty good intro to Dragon's Dogma 2. It feels very much like the first one. Uh, not super happy with how short the dash is. I'm hoping that there will be a... Uh, augment later that we can pick up to give us more of a dash, but it seems to be working. We already took down a big guy, we ran from a big guy, and uh, yeah, we walked our way here, did some exploring along the way. I really like these pants, they're way better than the other pants we had, they look awesome. Oh, that was nice. Oh, there's even a head on our, our cape. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with Dragon's Dogma 2 so far. It definitely gives me Dragon's Dogma vibes, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, if you guys like what you see, probably uh, check it out. It is not bad at all. And there's enough uh, over-explaining for people that play Dragon's Dogma that uh, people that haven't played Dragon's Dogma can still know what's going on. So I'm very impressed with the way that they've set this up so far. But uh, if you guys learned anything useful today or if you had a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will uh, catch you next time.